everyone, Tim here, TRD Adventures. Hope everyone's all in well there. As always, thanks for tuning in. Much, much appreciated. So today we're going to go ahead and start the next phase of the SCX-10 Pro build we got going on here. So took it out that first weekend for a little bit, put a couple battery packs through it. Overall, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, truck overall did really good. It's been a while since I had built or driven a straight axle style comp rig. So uh, took a little bit to get used to. But overall, still did really good and was super, super happy with it. But in the meantime, we've also got the Brazen Oracle chassis for the SCX Pro here. So we're going to go ahead and get this swapped and installed um, because we have a cash comp tomorrow and put it straight to the action. So I'm going to go ahead and get one of the rails off here so we can do some comparisons. So here we have the stock SCX 10 Pro rail, um, which is aluminum out of the box. Like I mentioned in the previous video, um, Axial does and will have carbon fiber replacement options available for this. And now here is the Brazen Oracle chassis. This chassis is available in aluminum, G10, and carbon fiber like we have here. So the Oracle here is made as a direct replacement chassis, as in you can unbolt this chassis and get it in. There is one modification you have to do. So you will remove the standoffs that go from the transmission to the Ford motor mount here um, in the Pro. Now, just based on how the Ford motor mount bolts in and attaches everything, the standoffs aren't actually needed. They're just there because they... They look good and a little more strength, but they're truly not needed because everything is bolted in and secured on its own. You know, the transmission with the skid and the four motor mount is bolted two bolts each side front through the chassis rail. So it's not going anywhere. So you do remove those because it is going to push it back just a little bit. So do my best here to get everything lined up. As we can see, all the factory holes are lined up there. So everything there, factory, as far as everything chassis mounting, everything's going to be right there. So we can see right here. So back here is the factory chassis. So here with the Brazen, we are clearing up that much area for additional clearance. And then we are clearing up some right here in the front. There's just a little bit of that stock chassis coming down. Now, if we flip it around, we can see a little bit of that 3.5 degree angle that the SCX-10 Pro chassis has. So 3.5 is not a huge difference versus the flat skid that comes on the Oracle. So with the Oracle chassis and, a, and the flat skid it has, that would make and turn your SCX Pro and make it potentially class one legal if that's your thing, or it just gives you another chassis option. And just because, again, I've mentioned in some of my other videos with some of my other builds, just because it has a flat skid does not mean it's not a performer. There are plenty of flat skid chassis out there that straight up perform and put in tons and tons of work. And 3.5 degrees is not that aggressive a skid. So I really don't think you're gonna see much or even notice the difference in the angle skid going from 3.5 to the flat skid. Some of the adjustments we're seeing here, so some of the link adjustments here in the front have gone away. And that's okay, because honestly, I think there were too many in here as well, because your links, everything attached right here in this front part. And also here in the rear, we are losing a few more adjustments that the stock chassis has versus the Oracle. Now here's a bigger difference right here. So here is where the Ford motor mount uh, bolts. So right here on the Oracle chassis, right here on the stock chassis. So we're gonna move slightly back the Ford motor mount. So it's gonna push it back just a, just a scotch, but it's gonna go down. So it's gonna bring in that motor, which is one of the heaviest components in your chassis. It's gonna bring it down better. So that is also very awesome to see right there. And again, with some shock tires, again, we're seeing just, again, that overall lower profile of a chassis, which is something that I like and I've really come to enjoy and look for in chassis that I'm building or choosing new builds for and stuff like that. I like that overall lower profile of a chassis. But and again, the cool thing is that all the main factory components where everything, chassis brace and all that, all that's still there. Stock bumper holes, servo mount, all that's still there. So you're not going to have to remove or take anything else out of your chassis. They said the only modification that you do have to do is just simply remove the standoffs from the forward motor mount to the transmission. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those and go ahead and get the Oracle installed all the way. And just like that, Brazen Oracle is installed. Everything there looks good. Got the skid, all the links, everything went right where it was supposed to. All the braces retained, servo mount, forward motor mount, all that's right there. As you can see, I did just re simply remove the two standoffs um, that go from the transmission to the forward motor mount, and they're out. Everything's good. Plenty of movement still, no excessive play. Nothing's going to just fall out, so should be really good there. Just definitely excited uh, to get everything going out. And again, that overall profile of that chassis there 
as you can see here compression just everything now the shock towers are just right there with the tires basically you know just a little bit taller so that overall profile of that chassis is down more and we did clean it actually pick up you know a little bit of belly clearance stuff like that ready to get the body on go out and uh run it through some gates If I had more feeling in my fingers, I would feel a little better. I don't I am just super stoked with the SX10 Pro here and now with the Brazen Oracle chassis in it. Super excited. Everything did good. We had a little bit of crawling footage there. Finished it up. And then that next morning, no drive time, we had a class two cash comp. We have a series going. So I was like, oh, what other better way to test it than to just put it straight into a comp. So went ahead, uh, comp with it during our series and was able to snag a first place finish. And it did great. Actually, oddly enough, I smashed zero gates. I only had a couple winches and a couple reverses, and it was overall good. Took me all the way there. Everything 
did really, really well. One other modification that I have done, I think I post on the page, but I did change out the rear springs. These springs here are the Lozy Mini T-Springs that a lot of us are accustomed to using and using to tune some of our shorter shocks. They fit on these stock uh, shocks there just fine, had no modifications, they went in just fine. Then I just wanted a little bit of a stiffer spring in the rear and was absolutely on point today. And everything dialed in really good. The side hill on this was really good. The incline breakover, everything was really, really just awesome today. I am just honestly super, super excited with how everything came together and with just overall how the truck performed. I did have a little bit of drive time on it uh, before the swap, but right here, you know, overall changing of the chassis stuff, it's mostly I'm just, I'm making it a flat skid and I'm changing and lowering the overall profile of the chassis. Overall, super happy with the Oracle here and just the S610 Pro in general with how everything is. The axles themselves, the steering and everything was really good. And the lockable, selectable overdrive again is just a really nice feature. You just want to go out and trail with it, slap it over to 0%, go have fun. If you want to do some comping or some more, you know, crucial crawling, slap that thing that's 40% overdrive and call it good. Again, you know, it's just another chassis option that's out there. And like I said, mentioned a lot of people were, had a lot of questions about this being, you know, class one uh, legal, you know, in its stock platform. No, it is not class one legal with this Oracle here. It now gives you a class one option. And just because it's flat skid and a class one chassis does not mean it cannot perform. We've all seen videos, I have the XO as my class three, and that is its class one flat skid chassis, and it works its butt off. So just because it's a flat skid, just because it's a class one chassis, does not mean it cannot perform and put in work, because it can, and they do. But nonetheless, it gives you just a solid option having this chassis. If you were to, we did the math in the last video. If you were looking at building a class one, you picked up the S6 Pro kit here for $429, and then you pick up the Oracle chassis rails for about $65, you're still under $500 total and you put everything together, get your electronics in there and choose your class one body and you're good to go. So again, just really awesome that that option is out there now. And if all else fails, like if you end up not liking the transmission or something like that, you can always swap out the stock skid here for like the Brazen Pro skid, which will bolt directly into the chassis. And then at that point, then you can choose and run whatever uh, transfer case that you choose. If you want to put them on the smaller Team Grajack transfer cases and have a wide variety of overdrive options they have, you definitely have that option. And then you would probably just need a longer prop shaft from the Ford motor mount to the T-case assembly and you're good to go. And the stock axles are offset, so everything works to clear that motor. Just, I enjoyed driving this a lot today. And honestly, all in all, it's a simple build and chassis setup. Everything there's good. And it's been a while since I've had and driven straight axles in like that situation. Like I have straight axle trail trucks and stuff, but you know, last year I did drive a lot of straight axles, but then I ditched everything for portals. So it's been a while since I put that kind of driving on a straight axle truck and I had an absolute blast and the truck was more than capable. Again, I will link below the Brazen website for the Oracle chassis and stuff like that, as well as all the other chassis they offer and other components and stuff like that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any comments, questions, anything like that, as always, put them down below. Do my best to get everything answered. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, everyone, have a great one. Crawl on.